this bag is fairly large. You can see lots of pockets. So what exactly is in this bag? So I'm actually going to be bringing my own cookware like this. Uh, I'm sure that there's a cover and it's, it's wide enough or large enough to actually... It's actually made by someone. So well done to anyone who's actually keen to do some sort of craft. Black bean spaghetti on the next show. So I've got my ingredients, black beans in a secure type container to take back any remains. Normally there's... Hello! Following my recent recording of the behind the scenes of the TV cooking show, some viewers have actually asked me, what do I carry in my bag? This is the bag that was shown in the previous video. This bag is fairly large. You can see lots of pockets. So what exactly is in this bag? And sometimes those who help me carry the bag upstairs to the TV studio ask, why is it so heavy? What exactly am I carrying? So. I thought I'll just do this video to show you what exactly do I carry on a regular basis to this TV cooking show. Now, before I carry on, please give me a thumbs up, like on this video, and share it with your friends as well who are curious to know what exactly do TV chefs carry along with them. Now, of course, you may be asking, doesn't the TV studio provide everything? In a way, yes, they do, and yes, they no, they don't. It all depends on how prepared you want to be. Now, I'm someone who likes to be over-prepared rather than under-prepared when it comes to anything. So I normally just do carry these personal items with me just to be on the safe side. And obviously there are some personal choices as well, especially with regards to the cookware. The cookware in the TV studio, it's sometimes damaged, it's scratched, and you know, it's not the best. So I normally like to carry my own which is in this carrier bag like this and what you can see here is i'll just open this bag for you to see this is what is in this carrier bag like this so for example i'm going to be cooking stir fried noodles or spaghetti in the next recording. So I'm actually going to be bringing my own cookware like this. Uh, I'm sure that there's a cover and it's, it's wide enough or large enough to actually contain all the, the spaghetti, the noodles, the ingredients, and like the uh, vegetables that will be, uh, that I'll be cooking on the show itself. So that's the little carrier bag that I use to carry the cookware. This bag here. It's actually made by someone, so well done to anyone who's actually keen to do some sort of craft. This could be a good example. It, this bag comes with also two little like buttons, so it actually just buttons the the item and it just secures the cook when to place as well. Now hygiene is very important, so I normally like to carry my own sort of cloth to wipe my hands and things like that and, and obviously later on after the show to wash down the the, the stove uh, the, the uh, kitchen area as well the, the worktop area so for example i'm going to be cooking as i said black bean spaghetti on the next show so i've got my ingredients black beans and obviously the various vegetables and other ingredients that i'll be including in the in, in the cooking as well then i bring a little sort of like secure type container to take back any remains. Normally there's hardly any uh, leftover foods because the, the studio staff, they normally just eat it all, which is great. However, if there is any leftovers, then, you know, instead of leaving the pot in the, in the cookware, I actually have a little secure container like this to actually take back the food that's left over and I get to enjoy it and even taste my own cooking after the show, which is great. So what else is there? Obviously, sometimes I need some water. So I have got this flask to actually store the water. And obviously you can also use this sort of flask to actually 
keep any of the other cooked foods or liquids that might be there left over. Now you might be wondering what is this? This is just an elastic band, okay? Now this flask that I have, unfortunately the, it's a good flask, however unfortunately the grip on the on the cover itself is quite small. If you're the supply watching this, then this is my feedback on it. So sometimes when I put hot water and the suction creates, you know, a sort of like a vacuum and it's really hard to actually undo the top. So what I've done is I've learned as well because I've actually got caught preparing for the show in the show itself, not in the show, but before the show when I've actually tried to open this, I've struggled. So that's where the little elastic band comes in. What I do is I put the elastic band on the cover like this and it just adds to the grip so I always carry elastic bands with me you never know just in case you're actually stuck and not able to open it and you don't have like man strength man grip to actually <laughs> open that that stuck um, cover and obviously I carry a pair of scissors scissors as well I love to sort of cut herbs with the scissors rather than with a knife and I do also carry my own knife. The studio has knives but you know sometimes the knives may not be what you want, what you're used to or it may not be sharp or clean then it's easier to bring your own. Obviously I've got like wooden spoons like this as well to stir and because I'm actually be cooking spaghetti or noodles the next show I'm actually also going to pack a pair of like tongs to actually grip the spaghetti as well, make it easier to actually dish out and carry various types, uh, various sizes of spoons. This is a large one, this is a teaspoon, and even forks. You won't underestimate the importance of that because I've actually had shows where I've gone to the kitchen, the studio kitchen, and there were no forks. So I always make sure there's at least one fork with me, one fork, one spoon, one sort of tiny spoon with me, and some of those like the spoons where you can actually stir or flip over whatever you're cooking as well. So those are the cutlery. What else do I have? Of course, chopping board. Now, we like to use either wooden or bamboo chopping board because the plastic ones that you normally see on t the other TV shows which other chefs may use they're actually made from like polystyrene you know the colored ones where it says you know blue red various different colors for different uh, for example raw meats raw fish and vegetables fruits you use different colored uh, chopping boards those are good because it's color color coordinated however the thing is because it's made of like polystyrene in plastic, whenever you cut, the bits of those material actually goes into your food as well, the micro bits. Well, this one, you know, with a bamboo or a wooden chopping board, it's actually natural. So even if there are bits, little tiny particles going to your food, you know it's natural rather than you having to eat plastic. What else do I have? I bring my own plate sometimes as well. The studio has lovely plates, however, sometimes for for display purposes of the uh, foods, the, the vegetables, the fruits and, and all the other ingredients that you may be using like you know the herbs and stuff it's always nice to actually have your own plate as well so that you don't have to find like a, a suitable plate or bowl to actually put all your ingredients on display. Now last but not least I've actually got my own apron. Now what happens you know on the show when I started, I was actually using an apron belonging to a company that I used to present for. Obviously, it's my apron, I, I meant to keep it, but I was actually told that I was not able to use any other company's apron because they didn't want any promotion on those uh, companies, although I was not deliberately or intentionally promoting that, that company itself. So I took the advantage, took the opportunity and made my own apron. So there it is. Planet Wellness and it just says discovering that's actually our logo motto it actually says discovering outstanding wellness through iridology so that's what the little apron looks like with my name on it as well there's my name here and just fit here like that and it goes like that right 
So that's the little apron there. And one more thing. I can find it. Yes, it's here. Now remember I said you can't actually promote or advertise anything that is, you know, leading to other companies' products. So even when I use oil, I have to make sure that the oil bottle is either covered, the, the label's actually covered, and also that, you know, I, I could, this is actually sesame oil, I could actually put it like in a spoon or a container, but sometimes I find that it, it actually wastes a lot because a lot of residue is actually on the spoon or the bowl or the container itself, so I prefer to actually pour it directly from the bottle, and because of that, I've actually had to cover the labeling as well. So, yes, one more thing. Now, you may know or may not know that I'm an Amazon number one best selling author for two books. Whole truth or half truth is their right answer, and The Diabetes Solution, which I co authored with Ronald. So, as they say, a great author is never without their books. So, this is also something I carry with me because you never know, you might meet fans there, you might meet someone who's interested in knowing more about what I do, what do we do, and that's always there. So this is the gist of what I carry in this bag. I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to give me a thumbs up, like, and follow our channel as well. Subscribe because we are constantly releasing new videos, new educational videos relating to health matters every single week.